to do an investigative report. Is your girl a call girl? Is your girl involved in prostitution on the side? Now, we're talking about high-level prostitution, so don't get upset. All right? Now, one of the things that I've found as the vag hacker, okay, meaning that I have dated so many girls, okay? I would actually say the number, and this is not bragging or boasting. I'm just a regular guy, yeah, Lamborghinis and all of that. That came later. Many of you have met some of my girlfriends on the channel here. Okay, over time, I don't show many of them. My videos, my life, have a personal shopper, all that. Is your girl doing something on Instagram? Well, first of all, let me, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I'm going to give you a rule. If your girl has at least 5,500, and I'm going to tell you some personal stories as I mix in some things from news and things like that, okay? But if your girl has over 5,500 Instagram followers, which is not a lot, okay? And I can't condemn all of them. But if you're feeling something, your gut feeling is right. Okay. Now, she's going to fight with you and make like it's your fault, all right? And say things like, oh, you just... You're jealous. You don't want me to have anything. What? It's just me dressed in different outfits. It's for my girlfriends. It's for me. How can you stop me from this? Guys, tell me in the comments. Have you heard this argument? Has it happened to you? This is what I want to know. Now, in Dubai, it's going off the hook. Okay? So, there are these websites, right, called Tag Your Sponsor. Okay? Okay? And they're being paid 30, 40, 50. This is the extreme of it now. Okay. And we're not talking about your girl. I'll get back to that. And even my own personal experiences. It's 4.06 a.m. on New Year's Eve. I felt like I should spill the beans. Now, I was doing random reading. And I have some, some stuff here to share with you. Even, a, you know, some excerpts from a video. I wanted to show you this one. Okay. Don't mind what it says right there. There's some vulgarities going on. Okay. It, it's already been made private. Look. Okay. People don't want this. Unless it's back. She put it back up. Hold on. I can't believe this. Again. We're going to. Now, now again. Look. Locally. I've had experiences. One of the girls I dated. Okay. Super hot. I met her. When. I, I Look. There was a time I used to have bodyguards. Like executive security, they call it, right? Because I used to get death threats when I first started in crypto YouTube from my enemy YouTubers, believe it or not, just jealous people in general. And, well, these guys were like ex-military. like military. They would dress in black suits. They looked like Secret Service. They were armed. We would be in an SUV. I'd go to the mall, whatever. So one day, I'm waiting to get a haircut, and there's one on one corner about 15 feet from me and there's one on the other side of me about 15 feet away this girl's walking her dog and you know me okay and i turn around and i'm like hey cute dog meanwhile i don't really like dogs so i faked it okay because she was smoking hot and um we are talking a level material and she's like who's the posse i was like well, i'll explain later and so I got her phone number, long story short. And so I wondered about her, okay, because she was supposedly a makeup artist. And she had a, an Instagram page, she had a lot of followers. But she also had tons and tons of hot girls on her Instagram page. I'm talking about, look, I, I now live in a money world. Uh, yes, I drive exotic cars. We all know you've seen Live from the Lambo and all the other ones, everything else. I'm not here for that. But I, I'm in this circle, okay? And so I get to see all of this. And I just had this gut feeling about how something wasn't right. She would travel every once in a while for work. And then it was almost like God told me something. That, you know, I'm not a jealous type of guy. I could care less. And, you know, this girl's a little wild, okay? But I liked her. And so 
when she's getting ready to travel one day, I find a note that falls out of her suitcase on like a post-it note. Don't forget to meet the client, whatever. My antennas went up right away. This was not no hair type of client, nothing like that, okay? This was my feeling, a setup. And then I catch her one night coming home late, right? And in her bag, right, we're, we're arguing, whatever. She's got sex toys in her bag. Can you imagine? At like two o'clock in the morning, all right? So, yeah, obviously that didn't work out. But there was another one. I'll tell you that story later. And I had my suspicions, but I didn't listen. I'm going to play a little bit of this woman, okay? And then I'm going to show you all the research I found. It's unbelievable. Now, she's going to talk some vulgarities. It's not about that. Now, this is about, forget about your girl. I'm telling you, if your girl has like 55, you already told you, replay the beginning. 5,500 is the magic number, all right? And she's got a lot of like money. She's got new bags and things like that. Look for those telltale signs. Don't be a crazy lunatic. But the truth is, a lot of girls are doing this, all right? You know, these guys hit them up from Instagram. They're always on their phone. If your girl's always on her phone, all right, and checking her Instagram and her messages, don't you think you're a guy? You went off for the hottest girl, money for sex. Everybody's done it, all right? Trust me, all right? There's been times where I was like, all right, look, all right, I have something called stacks. No, I, yeah, I'm not even going to talk about it. All right, I don't want to sound like a rapper. But you throw a stack, a girl's going to do anything, even a nice girl. Every girl has a price. This is shocking. I know. Let's hear what this woman has to say. This, I'm shocked this is here. I shared it with my group. It was made private. Let's listen to a little bit of it. Maybe I should pre-listen. Oh, we got to play this woman. All respect to her. What's happening with the Instagram model, what they really do. The girls that you're all masturbating about, okay, that you think are unobtainable. Let me tell you, they are obtainable. You've seen the quality of the women I've gone out with. When you go in Dubai for a vacay or Dubai. But I've never had to pay for it. With me, my attitude was, look, I'm not in Dubai, all right? But my attitude is, bitch, you get to hang out with me. Okay, I'll let you sit in my Lamborghini or my whatever and come on my whatever. Okay, I'm not I'm not even on Instagram. I'm not in that whole race of, you know, because I wear an $800 shirt, I need to show you or a $4,000 belt. Okay, well, my, I've done videos like that. Okay, just to prove my cred. Okay, but let's get back to this. This is shocking and I'm telling you, watch your girl. If you're suspicious and you're feeling that, and she's got a huge Instagram following, and all of a sudden she's, oh, I got to go with my girlfriend away for two days, whatever. Yeah, yeah, bro. She's coming to see a guy like me if I was into that. Doing a luxury trip, and we need to talk about what's going on, and we need to talk about the truth. So like you, when I'm enjoying browsing Instagram, he and there I bump into a photo of a gorgeous woman with the perfect body, perfect symmetrical face, wearing designer outfit, an Hermes handbag, posing in the front of a jet yacht luxury car. We all and you seen have it. Hashtag Dubai, Fakes in Paradise. And we know all those girls with the Ukan, the only suggestive photos because it's becoming, they're selling themselves on in. Do you know how many times I've been with hot chicks, right? And I come out and they're taking selfies in my Lambo. They're taking selfies. You've seen some of the videos. Taking selfies in my bathrooms, on my terrace, by my view. Okay. And what do you think they're doing with that? That's business collateral. Okay. That's for the next jerk off. I never fell for this. I would treat them like crap. Yeah, if I go out to a nice restaurant and, and it costs, you know, whatever it costs and we order whatever we order, whatever, okay, yeah, there's no holds barred. But I'm the one having the experience, remember that. You know, they call it like they're gold diggers, well, little do they know. We're beauty diggers. Yeah. 
scores even. Instagram. So they're showing the perfect plastic and I thought, wow, those girls have it all. I, you know, this is what I thought at the beginning. And then, of course, we do know they get paid to go in Dubai for, not for a real Viking, but for sex. And if you check as well on the IG profile, they don't say, for example, here, check my in my bio the YouTube link or my studying course, but they all the brand deals, they just said booking inquiries. So I'm here to tell you there are a lot of drop dead gorgeous girl every time when they have over 100,000 followers on Instagram drinking a cup. Now this is the big time. It's happening on small scale too. Cocktail in Dubai, there's a very high probability that she is a Dubai porta potty. Dubai has become known as a global sex tourism hub. For decades, Dubai has a reputation of flying in sex workers and sex trafficking women for decades, despite sex work being illegal in all UAA states. The number of active sex workers in Dubai is estimated at 45,000 girls. Food is impossible to know that for an actual number, but with many of these women are trafficked from countries such as... I right, check this out again with YouTube fair use. Brother, that's not possible. There's no way. There's no way. These are stunning, stunning women. I said, those two over there, it's not possible. Me and Logan been looking, saying, yo, these girls are absolutely stunning. He walks over, has a conversation, comes back five minutes later, 1,500. But we were stunned at how true his statement was, and we later found out even like some people who are like very well known yeah, have uh, a price. Very well known, have George. Have a price. Uh, Behind closed doors, which is, hey, listen, I got no problem with it. You want a trick, trick. I mean, I but they sell in If you guys didn't know, they sell in I've known about this since about 2000. And I got to tell you from personal experience, okay? I've had girls, right, that I've met, like, on the internet, on internet dating sites, right? And you try to weed out the hookers and all that kind of stuff. This is a site called, or something called, I think the site's gone, Tag Sponsor, okay? About all these hot Instagram models, okay, that have been busted to do this. and. It's unbelievable, okay? Now, I had another girl that I went out with for a while, and I was like, I, I remember on, on her birthday, right? I didn't go out with her one couple of months, I, and she was Colombian, beautiful. And I was like, she put me on the phone with her mom. I was like, oh, you know, your daughter's so nice, this and that, right? And she was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And, and then I found out I had my feelings about her because I did wild things with her that were beyond, beyond, okay? Like, you yeah, have no idea. So I had a feeling one night, right? So it was like 4 a.m. Yeah, it was when the Oracle creeps. Anyway, like now it's like 4 a.m. when the world sleeps. I'm here making money, 4.21 a.m. Okay, there's no money in this, but, you know, I'm trading and everything. And I call her with a different voice in the middle of the night as if I wanted to, like, book her and get her to come over for money. Busted. Boom. Busted. I busted her. That's another story. Then there was another one. I, I get a hold of that story. Let's go through this a bit, okay? You know what? I want to go back to those guys for Sometimes a minute. Sometimes you send in Watch this. This is a model, Instagram model, okay? who sent in a video of what she was going to do and she read it out. Hi, my name is Aliana Luciana Gonzalez and I'm 20 years old, 26 years old. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. In Dubai I will have a SCD check and Mr. Ali too. After that, we are having... Wait, in Dubai I will have my STD check and Mr. Ali too. Okay, she's going, this is a big thing. They go to Saudi Arabia now. These chicks are like global. You'll meet them on the internet, right? Like on Match.com or Bumble or whatever it is you do. Or on Instagram, they'll say, like, oh, I live in Dubai and New York and L.A. They like to sound cool. This is what they're doing. Your girl could be doing this locally. I told you. I busted Olga 
as a synonym, something like that. All right, it's not her real name. And then, and there was a couple of them, okay, that just, where's your money coming from? They say, I don't know. Oh, you got to go away again for the weekend, right? And, and and they got like 6,000 Instagram followers, 5,500. 5, They're always staring at their phone. Having unprotected sex. Unprotected sex. I will let Mr. Ali lick the rumors of my feet. I will also um, fuck uh, his virgin brother, who is 13 years old. I will also fuck his virgin, virgin brother, who is, you can see on the screen, okay? This is what they do. It's like a contract. And I will let him uh, lick my and fuck me Anna. And Mr. Ali is paying me 50,000 US dollars for this. Um, and I will receive 25,000 US dollars two weeks before I come to Dubai. This is my passport. And thank you so much, Mr. Ali, for the invitation. And I can't wait to finally meet you. These are the girls you guys are whacking off over, and you should see the guys that they're with. Okay, so there's so much here, right? Um, I, I was clicking and reading all of these crazy stories, right? So let's see, I saved some pages for you. All right. Um. Oh, this chick, hold on. Look, you would see her online and think, oh, wow, it's a hot, nice girl, right? Maybe even start dating her. Maybe she likes you. And she's always checking her Instagram and stuff, okay? So, you gotta watch out for that. Look. I meet them when I go shopping in these places. I have a personal shopper. Look, she's driving a Ferrari. And that's the other thing. They love to take pictures with your stuff. I catch them taking pictures in my bathroom. Okay? All over the place. And, and on my Lambo. Right? So, let's see this girl. Right, let's see. Let's just drop this up here, boom. So look, this chick has 4,000 followers, okay? Look, 4,000 followers. Regular girl, right? Like if you met her, I, I don't want to look at images. Let's see, I don't know. Yeah, bro, this could be your girlfriend, all right? I mean, look up here. That's her sister, Raffaellino, whatever. So let's go through a little more of this. All right, now let's talk about another thing. Let's talk about money, okay? You know, a super yacht like that, you're looking at 90 million, 100 million. Some of them even go up to $500 million, okay? You can take models. You can take... TV stars, people that are famous, okay, to have a yacht like that, you have billions. So, you take somebody who was on, let's say, uh, I, I don't know, the, what do they call that, the C Network or whatever it is, right, that had a series, let's say she was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and maybe in her whole career. She made $20 million, $25 million, right? She gets off with $5 million. <sighs> Come here. I'm not even going to talk about the sex with the camels, the disgustingness that they've talked about. You can Google that. There's so many articles on this, okay? And you can see all the chats back and forth, okay? Another Instagram check. I'm not into muscular chicks. This girl. Wait, hold up. Here. I am sending you this video to let you know that I am happy 
with the um, terms and conditions that you have sent to us. Um, I'm happy with the allowance of £3,000 per day um, for the normal sex. Um, and I'm happy with the extra money for all the fetish things that you would like. Um, the fetish things. All the extra money for the fetish things that you would like. Okay? Holy oh, these girls. This is another one. Big Instagram. She got arrested. She got arrested in Dubai. Okay? And offered the cops sex. <laughs> this is hilarious. So the question is, is your hot chick a hoe on Instagram? This chick had 148,000 followers. Okay? Look at that. These are the girls you think of, that you can't have. I've had girls like this, all right? Where they didn't want to do it the first night. They were like nice girls. <laughs> Pro. And sometimes you're just like, well, I'm not playing with you, all right? I just, I don't have time for this. You get stacks. You know what stacks are? You just throw stacks and rubber bands. Look, I had one negotiate with me once. I don't call call girls or anything. This is a regular date, all right? I was on a website. And I was like, oh, oh my God, at the end of the night, after we had dinner and everything. And I, I threw a number out there just in case. And well, whatever. I can't admit nor deny anything. So that's it. That's my story. And you know me. I live the life, you know? The O don't play. So you know I'm in the realm with these this character of women. Okay, character. I don't know, man. Is your girl a hoe? Did you ever suspect that your girl was up to something? Did you ever wonder why she wasn't home? Why she don't answer the phone certain times? Why she's always checking her Instagram? That's all I had to say.